All right, 22 minutes left on the last part of this duct work for engine three. And then we'll get started on engine four. And then I gotta print all the motor mounts. And then I gotta, <laughs> there's a whole bunch to do. As you can see, that part's gonna go right here. And this is just kind of set in place. I didn't put any of the duct work in place permanently. But the fact that it locks into place when I drop it down is just so satisfying. <laughs> But none of it's locked into place because I have to make sure that I can uh, get these lights installed first. And then have their wires come out here. And then everything gets buttoned up and pushed together and RTV'd. And um, then, we'll, then we'll be done with this one when the lights are in. And everything's buttoned down and I've got the screws down. And then we'll move over to this one. Finish it out. Um... I got, see, I've got two more rolls of PETG on the, in the AMS, but I'm thinking I'm going to need at least one, maybe two more. I don't know. I have stuff that, other stuff that I have to finish putting on here, like the, the foot pad, pad right here. And then I've already printed out the TPU pads. I need to do the one here, the one for this one and the one for that one, plus all of the motor mounts, which aren't too much, but they're print printed pretty solid for a reason, obviously. So we're almost there. See, that's what it looks like. But we print them pretty solid for a reason. And I may end up putting some 45s in there in the corner just to kind of make things a little bit more stable. I'll keep it from tweaking around a little bit. That was a suggestion. That was a suggestion from a subscriber. It's something I should have saw when I was putting it together. But when you get so deep into fusion and there's so many sketches and so many solid bodies, it's hard to sometimes, you, know, you, you overlook some of those things. So thanks to that subscriber for that one. Um, 45 degree supports, man. All right, back to work.